next guest is one of the biggest reasons Bill's Mafia is back. There he is, Stefan Diggs. Good to see you, sir. Joining us on behalf of new Old Spice Dynasty, available at Target, so fresh and so clean. Don't give me a shopping cart and time to kill in Target, because I'll tear that store up. Um, but uh, let's, let's talk about this season that you're having. You led the league in receptions and receiving yards. What has been the biggest difference for you from Minnesota to upstate New York? I would say passing. You know, this is a pass-heavy offense that I'm in now. Um, coming from a more run-heavy offense, you're coming from a place where as though you might not be getting as many targets or as many opportunities. Just so it's more opportunities with this new offense. That's all. Uh, you kind of want to don't want to overthink it and make it into more than what it is, but it's more opportunities when they're throwing the ball at least like 30, 40 times a game. Steph, Stefan, congratulations on the season. For congratulations for proving to be the stud that you are, and you always said that you would be major props to you. I want you to speak to things in generalities, not necessarily Deshaun Watson, but I want you to speak to just a relationship between player and management, because as this news is percolating in the National Football League now about Deshaun and the Houston Texans, yeah. once upon a time, you had some issues with Minnesota. Yeah. And you highlighted the absence of honesty. And that had a yeah. lot to do with you wanting to go in a different direction. Could you speak, as a, as a present-day NFL player, what that means to y'all in terms of the relationship that you have with management and some people out here feeling like some of y'all should just shut up and play and, and, yeah. and not do anything else? This was a very unique situation. My situation was very unique in itself just because the things that I've voiced as far as like being in a, you know, work work world, whereas though you trust the people that you're working with, you want to trust them. You want to, you know, have that relationship, whereas though you're building and you're on the same page. But we don't live in a shut up and play world anymore. Not at all. In no way, shape or form. And everything that's going on and people realizing their power and players understanding that how much they mean. They just want to have a say in the things that take place. You know, this is our lot. This is our career. And we take it. We take it pretty serious. So, um, you know, going in, and I don't really know the ins and outs of Deshaun Watson's situation, but obviously he's upset for a good reason. You know, it's not for no reason. You know, so I feel like people should more take a step back and, you know, look at the, the situation in its totality. And I kind of heard a couple of tidbits from former players and guys like that who say, like, yeah, like, basically you should be quiet and just play the game. But we don't live in that world no more. We're not going to live in that world. And especially with a, with a black player, a young black player who's had some success, uh, who's proven that he's one of the elite quarterbacks in the league. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Deshaun Watson. I think he's one of the, one of the best uh, quarterbacks in the league. I think he does some amazing things off the field as well as far as, like, giving back. So there's no shun in his character. For a, guy to, for a man to be upset for a man to want something different for himself, I don't think he's wrong for that. I went for that for myself. I was one of the unique situations that it worked out. And he's one of those guys that's equally or even maybe even more talented from coming from a quarterback position. And he'll change any team. He changed that Clemson team. Uh, he changed the Texans. And the things that transpired these past couple of years, as far as like we're losing DeAndre Hopkins and your favorite wide receiver target for, what, for whatever reason. And just this year, as far as like management and who was hired and you know, whoever didn't need, if he didn't have a say in it, I feel like that's your starting quarterback. I feel like your quarterback should have somewhat of a, you know, at least have some say so or an opportunity to have some input. And if he didn't, that's something that you should be should be, you know, noticed or taken upon serious. Stefan, congratulations on the year you just had. And Deshaun Watson, the difference between you and Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson being a quarterback and a national champion before he ever turned pro had a sterling reputation to the point where people are basically siding with him. Like, you know, if he's beefing with the team, okay, we're all looking at the Texans because you've alienated Deshaun Watson, that's a problem with you. But because you're not a quarterback, you were vilified by many, and you were considered the issue, and then you get to Buffalo, and not only do you ball out, but, but your quarterback is like, I don't know what people are talking about. This dude is great. What did it mean to you to have the support of Josh Allen so publicly in Buffalo? Because you weren't in the same position as Deshaun Watson. People didn't just give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I would say in my situation, it's harder to be a quarterback. You know, quarterbacks, you're right about they're under the microscope, especially black quarterbacks. Black quarterbacks in the National Football League are under a microscope. Uh, as far as, like, him not having no shun on his character, no chinks in his armor, everybody's behind Deshaun Watson. Uh... Going into my new situation, they called me whatever they wanted to call me. They called me a diva. They called me uh, not a team guy. They called me a lot of things. And 
me going into it is like this. I'm not going. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to address it. I'm not going. You know, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my uh, my helmet. I'm gonna take my lunch bell, and I'm gonna go to work, and I'm gonna get to work. And having a quarterback like Josh Allen, the guy that's a lot similar to me as far as like being a perfectionist, a guy that wants to work hard and wants to be great at what he does. Uh, for me, it means a lot just because when your quarterback's behind you, it means everything. You know, I go to I go to war for I will go to war for him each and every day. I practice hard for him each and every day. Um, we're striving to be great and going on a going on a battlefield. You trust a guy that got your back, and he never he never once you know he didn't turn his back on me. He didn't say anything slick or he didn't he got my back right or wrong. And I'm rocking with my guy, so you know that's something I'm a whole I'm a whole dear yep. to my heart just because it means a lot. Steph, before step on before we get before we get you on out of here, uh, who you got winning the Super Bowl? This is tough. Uh, I recall the last game, it was 27 to 24. Tyreek Hill had a huge first half, and I feel like uh, the Tampa Bay got things rolling a little bit going into the going into half, I guess, going into the second half. It's going to be a tough game. Patrick Mahomes playing some unbelievable, unbelievable football. I've never, I haven't seen nothing like it. They're finding ways to win. They have a good relationship, him, Andy Reid, and all the weapons. Um, but, you know, my favorite player is Tom Brady, so I'm, I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with Tampa. All right, I'm with it. I'm going with the Bucks too. Uh, Stefan, before we let you roll, what are you doing with Old Spice? Uh, talk a little bit about their new scent. You know, this pandemic has been tough. I don't know how tough it has been on you guys. I'm big on hygiene myself, so uh, I'm talking about their new scent, Dynasty. Cologne-like quality. It smells good. Uh, it's at your local Target, so give it a chance. Why give it a chance? If I wear it, Stephen A., you need to, you know, look into it a little bit, or, you know, everybody on this call. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you smooth breeze. I got you smooth. I got it. I got it. Fresh enough. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Appreciate All right, y'all having me. All right, babe. Appreciate All right. you. We'll talk to you soon. Congrats again on an amazing season. All right, when we come back here, 